exactly is artificial intelligence? Well, in very simple terms, it's the science of creating machines that can think like we do, that can look for patterns, make decisions, and judge things just like humans do. Okay, but you can think of AI as a really good calculator. It's not intelligent in the way that you are. Back in Cambridge, the city's two universities opened up two buses full of experts ready to chat with local people about their hopes and fears regarding AI. It's a very light touch and hopefully fun approach that will allow people to go home exactly and talk to their friends and neighbours and say, I know a little bit more today than I did yesterday. And that's all we're asking at this point, that they join the conversation. It's a public conversation. Everyone has the right to be part of it. Of course, it's young people whose lives will be impacted the most. Fears is probably that humans won't be needed anymore because robots just do everything for us. And um, my hopes is that we can have a more nice and um, ecological world. I hope that artificial intelligence would be used for just the betterment of humanity. Those behind the event believe that whether it's fears about machines taking our jobs or a host of other issues, ordinary people deserve to be heard. What we need to do is empower regular people to steer towards the future that they want. And that means bringing them closer to these technologies, making these technologies accessible in a way that is helping people, empowering them rather than hindering them in the things that they're doing. As the old saying goes, the world will have to decide in many, many ways whether we should do something just because we can do something. Matthew Hudson, ITV News in Cambridge.